what's going on you guys so check it right with us reaching the end of the first quarter of the year we have more artists gearing up to release new music and one particular artist who is set to drop his sophomore album is flame titled black and white now for the longest of times we had him tease us with winter nights and for the most parts we all thought that we might be getting that project next but it looks like that isn't the case now because of this I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever get win tonight. I mean, how many more times can we be teased about the same album? And maybe it's a case of Flame being afraid to drop it, since he created so much hype around it, which in turn puts added pressure on him to deliver. But hey, maybe him delaying it is all just part of his plan. Now Flame did claim that Black and White is a build up to win tonight, and I'm hoping he sticks by that. Now considering that Black and White is the album that we'll be getting, I think it's best we focus on that for now. So Flame came out on X to state that this album is basically all the Flames put together in one. And considering that he's been dropping snippets or unfinished album cuts on his socials, that definitely seems to be the case. So on daddy issues, for the most part Flame was in his rap bag but got melodic towards the end of the song. He spoke about a certain girl who seems to be well acquainted with a lot of people. It seems like she likes the finer things in life, wanting Chanel bags and blue faces, as well as going on trips outside the country, staying in hotels and visiting new places. Flame speaks on how she's willing to do anything for the money, but she still feels ugly inside, but knows that because she's beautiful she can pretty much get anything she wants. But it now turns out that she's pregnant and does doesn't know who the father is but it's probably one of her blessings she met overseas and when she's alone she thinks about all these things and regrets it all now on 10 toes we had flame in his rap bag once again definitely talking his shit and getting introspective on his situation in the game i mean since leaving twc people have always counted him out and he pretty much perceives his life like a movie where he's on everybody's screens sticking to his script and his scenes he also spoke on how in 2019 he almost lost his life behind the wheel alongside dj clan and in that same year he dropped his debut album and made a couple mills off it but blew it all and still chose to keep going and keep working but for the most part he speaks on proving the non-believers wrong whilst proving that his talent is undeniable now on KOCTY, Flame was deep in his R&B bag, speaking on his relationship and how things aren't going right. He touches on the fact that he's done playing because they can't even hold a conversation and that he feels like his patience is being tested. He also feels like she's keeping something from him, but he just wants to know. And because he's been through this before, he's wondering if they should just hang it up and run away. But in the end, he keeps on going back to her. So yeah, we pretty much have all the flames on this one and that's what he intends on showcasing on his album Black and White. Now I think it's also worth mentioning that Zuji Coke Dope will be executive producing this album and hopefully we get a feature from him as well because I mean Flame and Zuchi never mess together. But with that said, you guys let me know your thoughts on this. Are you guys disappointed that we won't be getting one tonight or do you just appreciate that new music is on the way with Black and White? comment down below anyways guys thanks for tuning in and i hope you enjoyed please make sure to hit that like button if you found the content dope and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already it's on to the next one peace